Hello, and welcome to the Quarantine Cook-Off presented by CalTV Entertainment. Each of our team members has been toiling away in the kitchen, honing their skills these past few months to become some of the most talented chefs in the world. But there can be only one cook-off champion. So without further ado, here are your contestants. Hey guys, it's Annie from CalTV. Today we'll be making chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's. Okay, it says a tablespoon of vegetable oil, but we only have olive oil and we only have um, tablespoons that say that are measured in love. So we're just gonna put a heap of love. Look how cute. <laughs> Soy sauce! Final product! <laughs> What's up you guys? It's Paloma here with Cal TV, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a chai tea latte. So this is a really simple drink for fall. We got some ice cubes. You're going to start with a cup, preferably with a nice little lid to shake it up. But we're going to use Tazo Organic Chai Tea Latte. You can find this at Costco, your local Albertson Safeway whichever we're gonna pour I would say three-fourths of a cup into your container we're gonna eyeball it because that's what we do in life we just eyeball things all right that looks good and then you can take almond milk oat milk whole milk whole milk's not usually my preference but that's what we got today so we're gonna work with it and then we're gonna pour some milk and now to our final step you guys put the lid on Wow. Okay, you're gonna make sure that your lid's secured before you do this. Here we are, you guys. Nice iced chai. Cheers. What's up? I'm Ishan, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a turkey panini. Fun fact, I actually used to be called the panini king back in freshman year. Nobody called you that. Why would you say that? What? All I ask is for you to record the video, okay? I don't need your commentary. What are you, Anderson Cooper? First, the panini consists of three items white bread, turkey breast, and pepper jack cheese. We then put the sandwich into the panini press and then close it. After it's been toasted and the cheese is all melted, I suggest adding lettuce and some barbecue sauce. Mm. I still got it. Hello, this is Matthew from Cal TV Entertainment, and today I will be cooking sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage from Trader Joe's. The first step is pouring the gnocchi into a bowl. Step two, put it in the microwave and set the drive for four minutes and 30 seconds. Step three, take it out and enjoy. Hi, my name is Brandon, and I'm just saving my lean cuisine because I found out this was a cooking show with a big cash prize at the end, and I love prizes. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cook a potato shred blend, fried and tossed with a saturated fat vinaigrette. You're going to want to preheat your oven to hot. The ingredients you'll need is a pan. I prayed to Rachel Ray this morning, so I know I'm gonna win. You're gonna need already pre-made blended potatoes, fried and frozen. Very conveniently, I did that yesterday. The next step you're gonna want to do is spread your tater tots. You're gonna wanna arrange your tater tots. Because I'm impatient and I'm hungry, we're gonna just pop these in. You're gonna wanna preheat your timer to 11 minutes or until the taters are totted. For the vinaigrette, you're gonna need some pepper, sugar, garlic salt, and tahine, and you're gonna mix it all together because you know that it's the best of both worlds. I think our potatoes are done sunbathing. Oh yeah, drier than those conversations that I have in those breakout rooms. Ow! Gather them into a bowl. Now you're gonna drizzle the vinaigrette over the tater tots and mix. So here's the final product. Let's try it. In order to really prove my abilities to myself, let's get a special judge guest. Thank you, chef. 
And that's it for today. Let's ask the audience. Do you think I did great? Vote. Two, one, and it was all a dream. It's Isabel Reich with Cal TV Entertainment. And today I'm gonna show you how to make cereal a la almond milk. Come with me. Now that you've picked out your ingredients, you're gonna open up the Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't know about you, but people who pour their milk in before their cereal, I don't trust them. Then you just add the almond milk. Grab a spoon. And you're ready to go. Hi, this is Ella. Um, and today I will be making a peach crisp because it's fall. Okay, so I finished cutting up the peaches and now I will be assembling. All right, so we got here the peaches and then this little oat brown sugar flour mixture. All right, there she is. And there we go, look how beautiful. That's the... Hi everyone, I'm Sophia, and today I'm going to be making spaghetti tacos for you guys. So if you want to see how I make it, come along and I'll show you how. So now we're going to add our spaghetti. You can put as much spaghetti as you want. You know, depends on how many people are having it. If Carly, Sam, and Freddie are all coming over, maybe put a little more. If it's just Spencer and you, you know, maybe a little less. I'm cooking, cooking things, cooking things for people to eat. I'm cooking, cooking things, things that people will choose. Okay, cheers. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend. See you there. So now that you've seen all our contestants, who do you think should win the quarantine cook-off crown? Who would you trust to run your kitchen? Be sure to vote and let us know in the comments below.